Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn Python script to create Jira tickets. So let's start. So first of all, here we need to understand the prerequisite. So we need a AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Then we need a Jira account with the project set. Then we need a basic knowledge of Python. Okay. So here, as you can see, I have successfully launched my instance with the name Jira. And as you can see, this is my Jira account. Okay. Right. So, okay. So you need a basic knowledge of Python. Okay. So the first step is here. We need to create a Jira project. So first of all, you need to create a Jira account. Okay. So if you don't have, then you can create first. And then after that, the first step is to uh, Python script to create Jira tickets. So first of all, we need to create a Jira project. So how to? So first of all, you need to log into your Jira account. Then after login, create a new project by selecting the project from projects. Then select a Scrum template from software development for simplicity. Then click on use template. Then after that, choose a project type from team managed project and company managed project. And after that, add the project details and provide the project name and key generated. Then click on next and your projects, project is created successfully. Okay. So let's start. So first step is create a Jira project. So first of all, you need to log into your Jira account. As you can see, I have successfully logged in. And then after that, I'm going to, is in my project. So here, as you can see, to create project, as you can see the here, create projects, so I'm going to create project new. And here, first of all, I'm going to this software development. And here, I'm going to select this Scrum. Then after that, here, you can see use templates. And after that, here, I'm going to select a team managed project. So as you can see in my step, select a Scrum project, then use template and choose a project type from team managed project and company managed project. Okay, so here I'm going to select this team managed project and here enter your project name. So my project name is DevOps project. And the key is, as you can see, DP, that means DevOps project. Okay, so click on next. So now you can see our project successfully created. You can see now it's a DP project. Okay, you can see after that here details and the project details and provide name and key generated. Then click on next project is created successfully. So how to check? So let's go to the projects and you can see the recent project is DP. That means DevOps project that we have just created. Okay, right. That's our project. View all project. I can say a project name that we have created just right. DevOps project and the key is GP and type is team manage software. Lead this DevOps scene project we are in more for project settings and so on. Okay. Now we are successfully created our project. Now it's time to move second step. Okay. Now the second step is here. So in second step, generate API token. So we need to generate the API token in this. So how to generate? So first of all, you need to go to your Jira profile, then click on manage your account. After that, under security, select create and manage API token. Then click on create API token. And after that, provide a label and click on create. Okay. Then copy the generated API token cause we will be using it later. Okay. So now our API token is also created. So let's create. So first of all here, let's go to the settings. From here. So I'm going to do this settings. Let's check for once. Zira profile. Okay, so, so let's go to the Zira profile here. And from here, let's Manage your account. And go to the security. And after that here, 
scold her as you can see api token so let's create and manage api token and here i'm going to remove this okay now let's create a api token okay so we need to create api token so click on it and enter your api token name so i'm going to enter devops click on create okay so i'm going to copy my api token and paste in notepad okay let's close so we have successfully created our api token okay it's done now we have successfully created the API token. Okay, now it's move, time to move third step. So the third step is install Python and required tools. Okay, so first of all, we need to update the system package. Okay, so you need to launch the instance. So as you can see, I have successfully launched my instance and I have successfully connected to my terminal. As you can see, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. So I'm going to clear the screen first. And now the third step is let's update the system package. So we need to install Python and required tools. Okay, so now I'm going to update my system package using the command sudo apt update. Then after that here, I'm going to install Python and Python virtual environment and PIP. Okay, so the command is sudo apt install Python 3, Python 3 VNV and Python 3 PIP hyphen y so as you can see it's installing it take few seconds to install so wait for few seconds Okay, so as you can see here, it's done. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. And the next step is set, set up a Python virtual environment and a virtual environment isolates your Python environment from the global system environment and making dependency management easier and avoiding conflicts. Okay, so let's use the Python virtual environment using the following command. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is activate the virtual environment to use it. Okay, so as you can see, it's activated, successfully activated. As you can see, my ENV that we have created. Okay, and now the next step is with the virtual environment activate the PIP to install the requ request library, which we need to making this HTTP request to the Jira API. So let's install this request. Okay, it's done. As you can see, it's successfully installed certificates and all. I'm going to clear my screen. Okay. Now it's move to fourth steps. The first step is write a Python script to re retrieve a list for of all of the projects in Jira. Okay. Write a Python script to retrieve a list of all projects in Jira. So first of all, let's create a directory and navigate to into it. So I'm to going to create a directory with Jira integration. And I'm going to inside this directory that we have just created. Okay. And here in this directory, I'm going to create a file to write Python script like main.py. So I'm going to use in my favorite editor nano and the file name is main.py and into this I'm going to add this data. Okay. Now after that here as you can see here URL that's our Oh, that's our Jira project URL. You can see DevOps hint. Okay, my my Jira uh, account name is DevOps hint, so that's why the name is DevOps hint. Okay. After that, here you know that you can see HTTP in basic auth DevOps hint at the red gmail.com. And here you need to paste your 
API. Okay. Here you need to paste your API. So I'm going to remove it. Let's paste our API here. Right, we have just created API token, right? So I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Okay, it's done, right? So it's done. Now let's save the file and exit. Okay. Then after that here, Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. You need to you need to add this line also. Okay. Okay, it's done. Now let's save the file and exit. Let's go once. Yeah. Now it's done. Okay. In this, we have successfully give our domain in URL, then email and API token, right? Then save the file and exit. Okay. Now, if you want to, if you want to know the files, explain of the script, right? Then as you can see, the request meaning the Python library for sending HTTP requests. Then HTTP basic auth. That means a utility from request auth module to handle HTTP basic authentication. Then what is meant by JSON? A library for working with JSON data. Then set the API endpoint URL. Then URL the API endpoint for fetching point information and replace this, this URL with your actual Zira domain. Okay. So we are successfully place this replace this URL with our Zira domain URL. Okay. Then authentication. Right, you can see an HTTP basic authentication object create a Zira users email and API token, and we need to replace this email uh, with our email, and we need to replace this API token with our actual API token that we have just created. Okay, then the header a directory specify the response should a JSON format. Then, as you can see, the respect or uh, response takes changes on loads and so on. Okay, now the next step is let's move to the next step. Now, the next step is fifth step is create issue in Zira. Okay, so we need to create an issue in Jira. So, how to create? So, now we want to create an issue in Jira. So, let's create a file to create a Python script to create issue. So here I'm going to create a file with issue.py and I'm going to use this editor nano. So let's create a file. Okay. And in this file, we need to add this data. Okay. Let's import. From here to here. And let's paste here and let's scroll up. And first of all, here, as you can see, in URL, replace your domain with this. So I'm going to remove this. My domain name is DevOps hint. Okay. Then after that here, our Gmail. So I'm going to enter DevOps hint. Okay. Then here, we need to enter here our api token that we have created so here is my api token i'm going to replace this okay then after that let's check let's scroll down after that here it will ask our project key your your key so how to find our key so go to the Zira account and go to the projects. This is our project DevOps project, right? And the key is here, DP. As you can see, the DP, this is our key. Okay. So I'm going to replace this your key. It's a caps DP, DevOps project. Okay. After that, it will ask our issue type ID. Okay. So how to find our 
issue type ID. So let's go to the Zira. And here, first of all, our project. Then here, configure board. Okay. Then after that here, let's go to the board. And after that here, you can see issue type. And after that in URL, as you can see, this is our issue type ID. You can see 10083 in URL, you can see. This is our issue type ID. Okay. So let's copy this. So after that, let's go to the story. Okay, sorry. Let's go to the story, not in bug. Let's go to the story and this is our issue type ID. Okay, 10084, this is our issue type ID. So let's copy and let's paste here. 10084, this is our issue type ID. Okay, so in this file, we have replaced this URL with our Zira, domain, Zira, Zira URL. Then after that here, enter your Gmail and here we have successfully replaced with our API token. After that here, we have replaced, the, uh, we have entered our issue type ID. Then we have entered a project. Okay, now, okay, it's done. Now let's save the file and exit. Okay, now after that, after that here, as you can see, let's go to the project. And let's go to the backlog. Now, as you can see in backlogs, there is no any issue as of now. Your backlogs is empty. Okay. As of now, there is no any issue created. Now, let's create. So, how to create? So, we have successfully, successfully create our file issue.py. Okay. So, after that here, after creating this file, let's check for once our file. So this is our issue.py file. Okay. So we have successfully created this file and we have successfully changed this. Okay. Then after that here, let's run this command. Okay. As you can see, give your domain name in URL, email and API token and give also ID and key at showing above image. Okay. Now the run the script, the output is formatted JSON string containing details about the created issue. And after that, now go to the Zira and open the project backlog so you can see the created issue. Okay. Now let's run this command python issue.py. As you can see, id, key, and self. That means in this. Okay. Let's go to Zira. Now let's refresh the page. And now, as you can see, our issue successfully created. You can see DP1. You can see DP1. Right. You can see. Right. You can see we are successfully, our issue is successfully created. Okay. If you want to create the another one then you can run the command python issue.py now you can see dp2 and the id is 10050 that second issue is also created let's see right so we have successfully created our issue right okay so it's done right so in this session we have learned python script to create zira ticket so thank you for watching and i hope you understand